Hi everybody, this is Terry Darty, and I'm at Book Expo 2013, enjoying the Mom's Choice Filming Studio with Tamara Amos this afternoon, award-winning author of the book, The Gift of a Servant. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Welcome to BEA. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Is this your first BEA? It is. Uh -huh. has, how has it been so far? I mean, it's oh, noisy it's out there, but I haven't <laughs> had a chance to get out. It's been great. It's been great. It's been a new experience, so it's been wonderful to be around here with book lovers and people in the industry. That's wonderful. And I saw your husband earlier in a Santa suit, so I'm sure that was a wonderful way <laughs> yeah. to sort of get people thinking about Christmas now. Yeah, he's a good sport, so yeah. That's good. So it's June, it's 100 degrees out there, and I'm sure people are really happy to think about Christmas and cool and feeling better. What would you tell them about how unique the gift of a servant is in, in discussing the, the idea of Christmas? Okay, well, Christmas is a time when we really need to come in and, and, and refocus on our families and spirituality. It's sort of a, a retreat of the soul and a time to refresh ourselves and, and get together with families and enjoy the festivities. And so often these days, um, the commercialism and the shopping takes over. And, and I know we as parents really struggle with this. Ministers, um, children, everybody struggles with this. And it's something that we really need. So what Gift of a Servant does is it, it strips Christmas to its core, um, its core meaning. It strips it of commercialism. It really focuses in on what Christmas is about, brings it back to Jesus, and pushes the, the idea that the meaning of Christmas is to share the love of Christ with each other. And it presents Santa Claus as a servant of God who, whose mission is to bring gifts of love from heaven above to children. I love your phrase, retreat for the soul. Who do you see, I mean, is, in your mind's eye, when you picture someone reading the gift of a servant, who do you see? Do you? I mean, I don't want to lead the question, so I'm afraid to even give you suggestions. Who do? You, who is your reader in your mind's eye? Sure. You know, our, our the book is really appreciated so much by families. Um, older readers really love it because it's written in prose. It's um, very nostalgic. It brings back another time, and it brings back a, the spirituality of another time to the Christmas of today. Uh, children love it because there's. It really focuses on Jesus' special love for children and Santa Claus' special love for children. So it really, um, that's one thing that I've actually struggled with is, is really defining an audience. And I guess the audience is people, especially Christians, who love Christmas. And, and, um, and really it just kind of goes all ages. So. It, I mean, we often tell authors, you know, think of your elevator pitch. Think of that one line that says, this is why my book is unique. You know, Christmas is a very popular topic in children's literature. What is, I mean, how would you say, again, that sort of retreat for the soul, what makes Gift of a Servant so special? Um, well, I have a few of them. Okay. So, one that I like is we're bringing Santa back. And that's because he has become so commercialized. He's been such an icon of commercialism that we're bringing back the true Santa Claus, who is Saint know, Nicholas. Saint Nicholas, right? The hero of children, uh, a representative of Jesus. So that's definitely there. Um, we're we're refocusing on on the meaning of Christmas, um, but I don't have really a slogan. So well, and I think that's probably a good thing. It was just more, you know because Christmas is so broad and there are lots of books out there on the topic of Santa or the birth of Christ trying to make you know it's got has it been hard I guess that's a better way to put it has it been hard for you to distinguish your book from others I mean do they confuse your story with something that some author, other author has tried to tell you know actually what I've what I've gotten is the opposite of that I've had so many people say there's nothing like this this is so unique it's it's a book that that incorporates the whole idea of Jesus, not just baby Jesus, but the whole um, message of salvation in the book, and it brings it all back to the meaning. Uh, you know, I actually do have, on all my advertising materials, everything I say, it's Santa reveals his mission of love. And that's really, I guess, the message I want to bring out, is that at the heart of Christmas, and at the heart of his message, at the heart of Santa's mission, is love, and it's a love for children, and it's a love for us, and it's contagious. 
It is contagious, and I'm so glad you were able to stop by the studio and join us this afternoon. So thanks for coming by. Thank Congratulations you so much. on Thank your Mom's you. Choice Awards. Yes, that's wonderful. To